He came from a low-income family and dropped out of school. But despite the challenges he's faced, he now runs a bookstore that is considered a formidable force. Proving the ones who look down on him wrong is Kenny Lake, who made books actually the successful business it is today. Kenny Lake established the business 14 years ago alongside his partner, Karen Wai. Hi, my name is Kenny and I run the bookstore called Books Actually. At the very start, um, I mean definitely my, my parents for sure. I mean, they knew that uh, I was doing something very different. But at the same time, I think, uh, or at least I grew up with parents who were quite liberal. They never really uh, interfered that much in the things that I wanted to do. Now, of course, along the way, uh, the people that have uh, my founding partner Karen who's, who founded the, the bookstore with me uh, and at the same time the people that have worked with me along the years so I've gone through multiple multiple different stuff so far and they've always been very supportive so yeah. Lake initially started off selling books at book fairs but he had always wanted to open a bookstore of his own. Um, so why did I start this company? Um, definitely a huge part of it is our passion uh, I did grow up with a lot of books and at the same time multiple factors led to this also. But setting up this company was no easy fit for them as they faced many obstacles during their journey. When books actually first moved to Tiong Bahru six years ago, they had little competition. But because of the number of shops that had been increasing over the years, their rent had increased from $3,800 to a whopping $7,900. However, despite the challenges that they have faced, they had also seen an increase in clientele over the years. Word of mouth played a big role in the increase, but it's also because many reporters were interested in covering the hardships they went through to establish this company. Uh, throughout the years, what are the challenges that I face? Um, the usual suspects are always uh, rentals, um, the cost of running a business, and, and, and the major thing is always the operation cost itself. Like and operation costs, the majority part of it is always um, the rentals in Singapore. And for good or for bad, um, that's actually very unavoidable. Whether you're running a bookstore, whether you're running a restaurant, a, a cafe, uh, you're always facing high rentals. Mm, everything is fluid, I think. Nothing stays the same. Uh, it always requires some form of management, some form of uh, change yourself like you always you always have to deal with the changes that happens around you you also have to deal with the changes that um, that, that, that that comes to you without even knowing in a sense but of course their books played a focal role in attracting customers to their store books actually curates their own titles and strongly believes in providing their customers the best books for reading pleasure Kenny Lake also wants to preserve Singaporean literature so he started math paper press for local authors he came to realise that it is hard for small authors in Singapore to publish their work. So Math Paper Press gives them an outlet to do so. I think the difference between maybe publishing uh, elsewhere and putting your books elsewhere and then putting them in books actually is that if you if you um, do a launch at Kino Kunia, a lot of it gets lost with many other books. I think one thing about books actually is that it's also a space where there's a lot of singlet titles and when you have a lot of singlet titles here, there's generally uh, more of a chance of people popping by and seeing your books, uh, seeing your events at the same time. Uh, there's also a chance where um, the book elves and Kenny are more likely to promote your book uh, versus maybe being in a uh, main bookstore in, in Kinokonia. Apart from the numerous opportunities given to local authors, Books Actually also ensures their customers are satisfied. Due to Books Actually's high reviews on TripAdvisor, Many foreigners come down to Singapore just to visit their bookstore. My name is Leslie Ralph and I'm visiting Singapore from Australia. We're staying in the city. And again, certainly the city has a lot to offer, but I wanted to see more of what suburbia was like. And so we came out here and we were just walking up and down the streets. And so with my passion for books, we saw this bookstore and there was just a lovely charm about the books, and so that's why we came in. The unique variety of books, as well as the ambience, never fails to bring back old and new customers alike. Now that you've heard their story, head down to Books Actually today.